What is going on guys and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video I will be doing a review on Battlefield 2042. The game came out on the 19th of November and has been getting quite a lot of criticism due to the glitching and lag that has caused a lot of players issues due to guns glitching out and making a lot of people quite angry. I started playing the game on the 19th and it started you off in a tutorial kind of thing which helps you understand the controls and give you some introduction to the game and where you will be fighting and what's involved. I found this quite good as it I came straight from Battlefield 5 which was mainly focused on World War 1 guns and equipment and it did take a while to get used to the new mechanics and the new equipment. After the tutorial, you are thrown into the game and this is where you'll be fighting real players from here on out. Which in a sense I found quite exciting as it was new to me and I was ready to experience the new maps and the new world. What's new in the game? You get introduced to specialists, which kind of reminds me of another game that started doing that. Each specialist has a different talent and can be used to add an advantage to your team. Each character has a breakdown section on the website, which I will not be reading into, so if you would like to check them out, please look in the link in the description, you can look at the full backstories, but I will not be talking about them in this video. However, I will be telling you what each one can do. Kimball Graves, codename Irish. Fortification system can deploy a shield that will protect anyone from bullets or explosives who stays behind it. APS-36 shot down Central to take down explosive projectiles. Webster Mackey. Grappling hook. Fires a rope that attaches to surfaces. When attached, the player is pulled towards the point it was attached to. And he is described as nimble, which allows him to move faster than other specialists. Maria Flack. S21 Syriot Pistol fires a syringe at friendlies to provide healing and, if used on enemies, will cause damage, along with the ability to revive anyone in the field who has been downed by an enemy. Pyot Gustavusky, codename Boris, SG 36 sentry gun, automatically spots and engages enemy targets detected within a certain area. Wilkus Van Dali, codename Casper. OVP Recon Drone can be deployed to spot enemies for your team and give an EMP blast to disorientate enemies. With his excellent hearing, which allows you to hear the enemy footsteps nearby. Navin Rail. Cyber Warfare Suit can scramble enemy vehicle systems, disable rangers or trigger base defences from a distance and can also hack into enemy systems for valuable intel. Santiago Espinonza, codename Dozer. SOB-8 Ballistic Shield. Use this shield as a battering ram with projection from incoming fire and to close the gap between you and the enemy. With this specialist, you have extra protection against explosive damage. Let's make some trouble. Emma Rosier. Codename Sundance. Smart explosive Sundance has the explosives and the experience to make life very difficult for the enemy team. From scatter grenades and micro drones, if something needs to go bang, she's the one to call. Constantin Agahel, codename Angel. Loadout crate as a supply expert, he keeps his squad provided with armour and ammo and can also call in a beacon that allows for the swapping of loadouts. Also has the ability to revive any ally with their bonus armour health field.
J.I. So Paik. EMG X Scanner makes enemies visible even through walls and has threat perception. So when she takes damage, she can triangulate on the shooter and return fire. Attachments. With the new release of Battlefield 2042, they have implemented the ability to change attachments on the fly. You can switch between multiple attachments seamlessly. And you can adapt to your surroundings. This is one of the features that I quite like. It gives you more customization when you're on the field and also gives you an opportunity to change your guns to suit you in seconds. The unfortunate thing is that sometimes the menus will lag out and make it incredibly difficult to change attachments. This is something I feel that should be made priority to fix as it's something that will affect gameplay for most players. I find it very frustrating that this game does feel a little bit broken. The maps are glitchy, the menus don't always work and the sights on snipers don't always work. It's just a shame because they had so many good ideas, it's just being spoilt by poor graphic design. Vehicles In this battlefield, the vehicles are very different. You can call them in during battles and they will come down from the sky with parachutes to use instantly which allows for a quick movement through the map to get the edge on the enemy team. There are many vehicles in this game. Here are a few that you will see in the game. LATV4 Recon. An open chassis, all-terrain vehicle originally designed for search and rescue. A lack of armor can leave it vulnerable to enemy fire. Just don't stop driving. LCAA Hovercraft is a scout vehicle with four seats with an array of weapons including a minigun and two side mounted light machine guns. It can protect itself by laying smoke, it's not immune to full damage but it will survive large drops and has a fully enclosed body much safer for occupants inside. EBAA Wildcat, an infantry fighting vehicle that can be specialised to an anti-aircraft role. The driver operates a primary weapon of moderate calibre, guided missile system and defence equipment. A remote weapon system gunner operates weaponry chosen by the driver such as a HMG 40mm grenade launcher, minigun or barrage missile launcher with a built-in spotter that can show targets for the gunners to make it easier to fend off attackers. MD-540 Nightbird is a scout helicopter with four seats. The pilot can use familiar weapons such as a pair of miniguns and light rocket packs, both of which are effective against infantry, light armour and air vehicles. M5C Balti a fast-moving, agile, but low-durability vehicle that can hold two players and can be used to move between sectors. Equipped with mines to help slow down enemy infantry and make eliminate players much easier. There are so many more vehicles to show and give details about, but those are the main ones that will be used during everyday battles. With so much to choose from, you can pick which one you use to help your team win the battle.
I would give you a breakdown of the objectives and game modes, but if you're like me, you already played the series, you know what to expect from the game at this point. But if you are new, this is the first battlefield you've played, look in the description if you wish to find out more about the game modes. Although, the game does offer video tutorials to show you what you're meant to do in each game mode. Rangers. They can be commanded to scout a location, guard the player, or run to a location and self-destruct. It does its best to follow the player, but it cannot enter vehicles. It can jump over terrain and deploy its very own parachute. The ranger cannot follow the player across zip lines, or if the player is carried out of the ranger's radius by a vehicle, the ranger is told to follow the player and may sometimes take a longer route to get to the current player location. They will remain on the field until destroyed by the enemy team, or the player's its following dies. In this case, it will self-destruct. But if a player is downed, the ranger will continue to defend the player, but if the player is not revived, it will explode. Requesting a ranger drop at this location. Status report. Our forces are struggling to control objectives, sir. Rally on my marker! Over there! Move to the marker! The game itself has some incredible looking maps, which you can explore the world in many different ways. Here is a short video showing off some of the maps with a bit of gameplay. Conclusion There is still a lot to be sorted in Battlefield 2042, as many things are still buggy and broken, which has made it impossible to enjoy it to its full potential. But I can guarantee that the devs are working hard to iron out any problems and hopefully will end the year with a complete and stunning game. I very much enjoy playing the game and it makes me really happy to see that they have stuck to their open world maps, lots to explore and much much more. The game itself is something that in my opinion blows most CODs out of the water. I used to play COD quite often, but after getting my hands on Battlefield 1, I was in love with the series. To round off this review, I would like to give an honest and personal opinion about the game. When I heard that the new game was going to be set in the future, it worried me. Because I stopped playing COD because it was too much like a Halo copy, and it made me sad that instead of staying to their true nature, they started trying to make it more like a futuristic FPS. Whereas Battlefield concentrated on gameplay and making the player feel like they have endless possibilities. So, in a complete honest way, I will be playing Battlefield 2042, because it is fun. Not too much work on making it possible to jump up buildings with jetpacks, but an easy way to have fun with a little bit more to do. Thank you for watching this review, and I hope you can take something from it. A few things to add is that I don't own any rights of the videos that I used, and everything I used in this review will be linked in the description so you can check it out for yourself if you so wish to. And I want to give the owners credit. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new, and if you would like to support me, please check out the Patreon, which is linked in the description. And I will see you all very soon. Have a lovely day.